My fellow Americans, I'm Robert Morrison. I'm the Liberty Party candidate for President of the United States. The picture of Trump waddling from the White House to St. John's Episcopal is the most ridiculous photo in American history. It's funnier than grinning Harry Truman holding up the Chicago Tribune banner headline, Dewey defeats Truman. In this picture, our bouffant buffoon goes to a church he never attends and holds up a holy book he never reads. It's an unforgettable picture of hypocrisy on stilts. The lout with the pout passed by the statue of General Andrew Jackson. Jackson saved America in 1815 by turning back a British invasion of New Orleans. General Jackson rode back and forth on the American lines, braving British rifle fire. He told his men not to be afraid of the Congreve rockets they were shooting at us. These are toys to frighten children, said old Hickory. Good to know Trump has recovered from those heel spurs that kept him out of the draft. Lafayette Square is named for the 21-year-old French volunteer fighter for our independence. Lafayette had heel spurs too. Lafayette used his heel spurs to urge his horse into the Battle of Brandywine. There, our brave young ally suffered a serious wound to his leg for our sake. Trump advanced toward St. John's Church behind a squadron of shield-bearing, truncheon-wielding federal officers. They were there to protect Trump. He had something to prove. But what was it? He wanted to lift up the Bible so people would assume he wanted to protect it. He might think about reading it. I like the passage that says, Woe to thee, O land, when thy king is a child. In our case, our king is a malicious child, a mendacious child, and he thinks the President of the United States can do anything I want to do. We need a president who has humility. Harry Truman was one such. Dwight D. Eisenhower was another. These two sons of the Middle West served us well, and they were not billionaires who had a sense of entitlement. One good thing is coming. After we roust and oust this orange oaf, we will never again be tempted to elect a billionaire. We will never again think that invincible ignorance is superior to striving to learn. I'm Robert Morrison. We are forming the Liberal, Liberty Party. We pray America comes through this pandemic with better leadership, with leadership humble enough to seek the best advice like the Germans are getting from the scientist Chancellor Merkel. Thanks for listening.